Hey, so I had someone respond when I tweeted this deck list out the other day, and they were like, but Jeff, how do you how do you get Emrakul out if it's in your sideboard? Well, my sweet summer child, Proteus Staff here very cleverly says you put target creature on the bottom of your library, or you and then you get to reveal cards until you reveal another creature. But most importantly here, this card lets you put the cards you reveal back in any order. So without having a creature in our deck, when we activate Proteus Staff on a token or a mutable, we get to stack our remaining deck, which lets us put Goblin Charbelcher on top to then have a lethal Goblin Charbelcher kill because we have stacked our deck to make it so. I can only assume that this is going to be clunky and bad, but I've been given enough money to give it a try. So we're going to, we seemed like a, a fine fit for a Monday stream. So let's see how it goes. What do you think? What's the line? Let's say we're going to play Ginger Cakes. Thanks for the 14 month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. What's the line? Let's say we play four matches. How many games do we win? How much was this? That's a good question. How many points did this end up at in the queue? This had uh, 70 points, so probably 50 or 60 bucks. This might be one that I give it more than three matches, but we'll see. If it's really clunky, we might not give it more than three. We'll see. This game's pretty good. This is, uh, this is just, this is a pretty good start. This is my first Meme Monday. I'm excited to know whether this deck will be unexpectedly good by checking if the video is only 40 minutes. <laughs> There's some water knows. Oh no, chat! Why are they here to police our fun? Why do you... Why do you hate fun, opponent? What did, what did fun ever do to you? I think I just play Pentad Prism here. Maybe. The toughest part here is that any any Doom Blade disrupts our Proteus staff activation. All right, so we hit this. All right, so this is this is the clunky slow part. I've assembled everything we need to assemble. But we're not actually going to kill them for like two more turns here, right? Like, I'm like, what are, what are the odds I get a turn five against burn like absurdly low? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Jaden. This is the day where we, we bring everything back into line and we bring down the average win percentage of decks containing Mox, Opal, and Ancient Stirrings. I'm doing I'm doing the modern community a favor. I don't have time to wait. So if they have a if they have a doom blade, they have a doom blade. I mean, would ensnaring bridge even be good here? Look look, look how full my hand is. All right, let's get some ley lines in our deck. Is this a fog matchup? It's probably not, right? 
on earth does this card do? Why are there... Why are there Briber's Purses in this deck? It, like, fogs a creature, I guess? I guess Nature's Claim lets me gain four in a pinch. Can also kill Eidolon, which is nice. Oh, Relic doesn't really accomplish anything here, right? Yeah, I guess it helps enable Mox Opal. Is that better than, like, Welding Jar, though? And my gut, my gut ant wonders, is it better than Welding Jar? Was the, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, was the, was the punchline I tweeted with this deck too low of a blow or not low enough? You be the judge. Let me, let me know your feelings. Let me know your feelings. This deck drives me to drink, so I brought the big bottle of whiskey out. the mulligan. I've got ley lines in my deck and the hand doesn't really do anything. Hand just like also does nothing. I'd call just above the belt. I love that there's a mountain in this deck, so when we stack things, we can double the damage on the Belcher. Yeah, I think I want to mull kind of aggressively for Leyline, because we're probably pretty bad off in this matchup, but I don't think I can go... I don't think I can go lower than five. Yeah, I can go lower than, like, a functional five. Got yeah, modern staple nuisance engine here. Hopefully, hopefully if we lose a couple, we can get down into the mid-range bracket. Decks, decks like this tend to thrive in the mid-range bracket from my experience. Don't have to play against mean people pressuring our health total. This is coming in next turn. We'll play Pentad Prism for now. Let's me feel good at the game. Look, speaking as someone who like started many a open two and two and then top eight at 13 and two, magic gets much easier when you're playing against people who also have two losses. You know what deck thrives in the X2 bracket? Kiki Cord. Kiki Cord thrives in the X2 bracket because Kiki Cord is only good against people that aren't looking to play optimally. Think we might be dead, chat. Not that it matters because we won't play this again, but play Blink Moth over Mutavol because we can protect it with Welding Jar. That's, that's the technology right there. It's the technology right there. All right, onward, upward, backward, forward. While we're waiting to see if this glorious dumpster fire can manage to win a match, I'd just like to welcome everybody for hanging out here today. My name is Jeff Hogan. I'm a full-time stream, meme, magic, content, producing machine, whatever you want to call me. I'm here playing magic 
30 plus hours a week. I focus primarily on modern right now. If you're enjoying my stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the reason that I'm able to do this full time like I do. I love love playing and streaming Magic, but the reason I'm able to be here day in and day out is because of their very wonderful support. Uh, past subscribing to my channel, you can also support myself by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. Cardsphere.com, I love to help you turn some of your cards into other cards direct with other players. There's no haggling, they just take a 1% fee off the top. Inkedgaming.com, I'd love to help you customize your gaming experience using code JEFF12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. Coolstuffinc.com, buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code JEFF5, you can save 5% on uh, Magic, Warhammer, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh cards there with them. And of course, this stream wouldn't be possible without viewers like Anoronix, Justin, Nivik, and all y'all out there. Thanks for hanging out today. Remember, after I do get done, I'm going to about 3 o'clock Central Standard Cornfield time. And uh, if you're hungry for more Hoagland content after that, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Everything uh, I play gets archived there, and I break it up by deck, so you can watch just the matches that you care about. Lash way! Thanks for re-upping for the sixth month in a row. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here yet again. Correct, Demir Spy. That is, that is the plan. I'm not saying that it's a good plan, but it is the plan that we are attempting to execute. So I get to bot on the Muta Vault here because we drew Modern Staple Nuisance Engine to generate tokens with. Sunken Hollow. Escape Shift? I've seen some teamer escape sh or four color bring to light escape shifts playing Sunken Hollow recently. Oh man, I'm awful. Thank you for the two month resub there. I appreciate that and welcome back. Uh, any format that is not officially supported by Wizards of the Coast is not something I'm going to be playing here on stream. So if Wizards of the Coast announced that they were going to be, do, be, be implementing a new non-rotating format, I'd be super excited and we would almost certainly be brewing and playing it on stream. Some, some other person decides that they want to try and create the next frontier. No, thank you. I am not going to play Kamigawa Block Popper Tiny Leaders. Hard. Firm pass. Firm pass. Well, Brawl's not a non-rotating format, so, like, that that doesn't fit. Like, the primary focus on this stream is non-rotating formats, right? So, Brawl brawl doesn't fit that, fit the stipulations that we just did. Admiral Vortex, thanks for re-upping for the third month in a row and at the Tier 3 level. I appreciate that support. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Remember, Tier 3 subs are exempt from the queue slowdown, so if you'd like to add a new deck, you can fill out the form as normal alternatively if there's a deck already in the queue you'd like to see a whole lot sooner you can just drop me a message about that yeah probably spawn sounds neat if it was if it was a format people are interested in playing we will probably play it here if it's non-rotating honestly i think brawl was wizards of the coast like trying to bring some people into into arena right Although Arena doesn't actually have Brawl, so maybe I'm just stupid. Who's who's more stupid? Me for thinking Wizards of the Coast was trying to push Brawl into Arena, or for Wizards for not putting Brawl in Arena? Yes. Why not both is probably an appropriate answer to that. Sounds good, Admiral. Is there some modern Belcher that is playable? It depends on what your definition of playable is. Yep, yeah, everything listed on in the stream title are things we have yet to play. 
So Treasure Hunt Swans will be up after this. This might be a, a meme Monday where we clear through a lot of decks. Why are Valakut decks being popular again? Nothing is ever popular in Modern. Every Everything is simultaneously popular and not popular at the same time. The idea that Modern has a metagame is a lie. We tell our children to sleep at night so they can they can feel smart while talking about how they metagamed their tournament. I know I don't know that we're gonna play another. I'm gonna play. I'll play one more match with this deck. Maybe I don't know. This deck is really bad. For for the record, I rejected this deck list the first time it was submitted. With with the with the reasoning that it was too slow and not interactive enough and we're we're seeing that we're seeing that ex, at, at, we're seeing that exemplified right here right now right like decks that are kind of doing wacky and weird things that are sweet are sweet when they can do their things but like this just like it isn't fun right like i'm just getting dumpstered here like our deck just like isn't good enough and we're getting dumpstered because it's not good enough if we don't win this game, I'm not playing another match. So this this hand has actually everything we want to be doing. Has has all of the pieces in it. So if this if this one's not winnable, we're not gonna we're not gonna play anymore. Not even this match, just this game. If we can win this game, I will play another match. That's Picking, picking decks out like I do, it's really striking that key balance between this is sweet, but it's also like has enough tools in it to be pseudo competitive when we actually go to play it, right? Brodius Staff is how we win the game. You can't figure it out. Look at the deck list. It'll be a fun Monday morning exercise for you. I think I'm putting Pentad Prism into play on one here. They're going to remand our Lotus Bloom. We're going to die in a blaze. Uh, Matt Man, to answer your question from Twitter, those mouse pads were part of the giveaway from the long stream last week or the week before, last two weeks ago, the 16 hour stream, where we did the giveaway stuff. You can also buy them on their website, but the free, the free ones were from, the free ones were from the long stream giveaway. Just like they have any interaction here, we die. We can't beat a counter spell. We can't beat we can't beat a removal spell. If we wait, they're just gonna play lands and kill us with scape shift. Uh yeah, all the signed mats from me got mailed out, Nivik. So the signed mats came from me, the mouse pads came from Inked. What should you get first? You want Jace is the most important. Probably Jace, then Snapcaster, then Colonnade. You can play like blue white, more blue white temples and like fairy conclaves as like budget colonnades for the time being. Declan sign any? I don't recall. Uh...
Jace, Jace is really important for that deck because it makes your Turbinus as much better. Declan cannot rate his own name just yet. He is three. It's one of the things they work on at school. I've seen I've seen the results. I've worked with them myself. We'll get there eventually. I think the Mardu deck, the Mardu deck is either the first or second most reasonable thing we're playing today. But, uh, definitely Summoner's Egg was pretty reasonable as well. Do I tend to homeschool my kids as I were? No, I don't think so. We'll see. The, the schools where I grew up at were not the greatest in the Chicago Burbs. And we're dead. All right, so... Pong, thank you for the eight-month three subscription there. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. So, occasionally when people submit a deck like this and I reject it and then they resubmit it offering more money, I accept it not only because it's more money, but it's, it's a good learning experience and I'm getting paid to teach people here. So... This, this deck is a great example of things that are just not good in modern. So when you're building new deck ideas in modern, you need to say yes to one of two questions. You either need to say, yes, I can consistently kill people by the third turn of the game. Or yes, I am playing a plethora of cheap and efficient interaction so I can prevent the people who are trying to kill me by the third turn of the game from doing that to me. So you either need to be an efficient linear deck or you need to be an interactive deck to prevent the efficient linear decks from running you over. This deck doesn't do either of those things. It's not consistently fast. It's not ever fast. I don't know. I don't know what the nut drives with this deck. If I can it's probably never killing before turn four. Honestly, it might even be turn five. And it doesn't interact with the opponent. So yeah, I just this is this is a good example of like decks that just like aren't good in modern and this this is not this is not the first time and the only time that I've had decks like this submitted. We've played them on stream even before once or twice too and most of the decks that I reject that people submit through my forum are this isn't interactive enough and it's not linear enough and you need to pick one or the other because modern's a brutal and fast format as far as the competitive decks are concerned. <laughs> 